Hello. I'm having a great day. I told you in my last video that uh, I cleaned up my uh, bedside books and put put everything back on the shelves except for uh, one book. And today I had nothing to do um, except except to read. And anyone that's a reader knows how often you think you think about the days that you can just sit and read all day long and how really rare they are. Um, more often than not, something comes up. There's chores, uh, errands to run, uh, social obligations or family obligations. And so the, the rare days where you can actually uh, just stay at home all day and read is, uh, for a reader, uh, a real treasure. And um, also, it's a rainy day. Which makes it especially nice to not have to leave the house for any reason and just to sit all morning and all afternoon reading a really good book. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I, I have a tin roof. Um, so with this uh, steady, mild rain, you can just you hear the constant hum of metallic raindrops. And the cats, almost by instinct, know that when it's raining, it's a lazy day. So the cats have been, just been sleeping all day and uh, alternately coming up and um, resting by my side while I read. And what makes a great reading day is reading a great book. And I'm happy to say that I, I just read a great book. It's um, the Ro the Romantic by Herman Brock. It's the first book of a trilogy uh, called Sl the Sleepwalkers, and immediately. Um, other than knowing that you're in very capable hands, you also know that you're reading an important book. It's a book that feels uh, serious and asks big questions. Um, it, it just has that uh, air of importance um, that some older books and newer books um, have. And the story is about, um, mostly, it begins with the son of a farming family. Uh, his name is Jokum, Jokam, and um, he's the younger brother. He has an older brother, and the older brother is to stay at home and uh, learn to take charge of the farm. The father is very severe, and the, the mother um, at, at first almost seems like a very flat character. Um, she, the only things that she really says is, uh, you know, I'll tell your father, and the only thing that only things that she does is uh, take care of the cows and take care of the hens. Well, meanwhile, the younger brother, Jokum, he's to be sent off to military school, and he's jealous of his older brother. He wants to stay home and uh, take care of the farm, but he gets he gets sent to military school, and while he's there, he learns to be proud of his uh, position and, and his life in the military. Um, it's a great description of um, his beliefs of wearing the uniform and he says that when you put on a uniform you become the property of the uniform and he takes great care and pride in wearing um, everything just immaculate, immaculately uh, fitted and every button is exactly where it's supposed to be and there's no, um, it's all, everything's very formal. There's nothing casual when he's wearing his uniform. And, and he has a friend who is a bad friend. And one of the great things about the book is all of the characters have almost a, a duality. They're, they're really complex characters that um, even when they're introduced and you might think that they're flat, um, there's 
information that you're given throughout the story that doesn't betray your introduction to that character, but uh, really adds to it. So while he's at military school, um, he finds out that his brother uh, was shot and killed in a duel, and he needs to go home. And before he leaves, he, he gets a letter from his brother. His brother sent it to him just before the duel, and he tells him that no matter what, he says it's a kind of a long letter, but he says no matter what, um, stay in the military. Don't don't leave and come back and just take care of the household. And he gets back, and his father uh, is just muttering to himself and saying, "He died for his honor. He died for his honor." And his mother is still mechanically taking care of the cows and taking care of the chickens. And that's an example of something that might have seemed to be flat initially that turns into a really complex emotion. Um, she's she's <clears throat> mourning and then she's in shock and grief and she's just only doing what she knows knows to do. Uh, she, she has to keep the household together, keep her family together. Um, on top of all of this there's a, a love triangle. It's a little bit more than a, a love triangle. Um, which was really satisfying. There's two love interests. One will uh, be uh, Joachim's um, kind of um, marital responsibility and financial stability for his family. And then uh, there's another girl who's a bohemian and she um, represents or um, affects his um, kind of um, sexual impulses. He, 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 loved, he loves the one girl and the other girl, um, he kind of loves both of them. It's kind of what gets the, gives the book such a, a richness. But, and it, it's just a, a great, um, I don't really want to say a love story, but um, th th there's uh, kind of high melodrama and tension and really intense scenes and uh, the motivations of all of the characters come into question. You understand everybody's motivations. Sometimes um, you can kind of question what you initially thought of somebody by something that they say. Um, and th throughout this, uh, the, the, the author is able to interject these great conversations that um, ad address larger uh, questions that we have about life. Um, you know, the, the difference between your uh, duty to your family compared to the duty of your um, country. Um, thinking about uh, the honor that you show to the past and the respect that you should have for the future and what it means to really fit into the um, uh, present life that you live. Um, and the other thing that's just so satisfying is how the author seems to always um, recognize and know that he's telling you an intriguing story. The the f philosophical ideas that come come in <clears throat> feel real feel uh, as if they're a natural part of the conversation that the characters are having. Uh, I'll tell you two two um, uh, humorous parts because there there are also um, a few funny bits that I liked, and one is that uh, <clears throat> Joachim wearing his uniform and he's so proud of it, and he even considers it to be a second skin that he wears and there's a love scene with him and the bohemian girl and they go into the bedroom and she uh, gets on her hands and knees and begins to untie his shoes and he's standing there erect in his uh, in his uniform and she's untying his shoes and he feels like his second skin is coming off and it's a big moment for him and uh, I, I, I it was very enjoyable. It's uh, a very weird, nuanced uh, emotion that, um, for the way that 
that this character has been uh, described um, is very satisfying. And the, the second one, which is uh, equally as nuanced, is the father, while he was in grief, uh, was having a conversation with the priest. And the father is uh, just drinking glasses and glasses of wine and mourning. And he, he tells the priest, and he says, or the pastor, uh, he says, drink, just, uh, it'll, it'll make you feel warm. Drink until you can see double. That way you'll feel less lonely. And again, it's, it's such a complex uh, set of emotions that's being described. Uh, and the, the book has so many of them. Some of them are a little lighthearted. Other ones are uncomfortable and really make you think. Um, I think the last thing that I'll say uh, <clears throat> is... Um, the book is divided up into four chapters. There's three chapters that are about 50 pages each. The last fourth chapter is only a paragraph. And it's one of those things that when you read the very last chapter, the last paragraph, and you put the book down and you think to yourself, oh boy, what a book. What a good book I just read. And it's nothing as gimmicky as a twist ending it's just at the very end you're giving you're given a little bit additional information and it's something that hasn't even been really alluded to throughout the story but knowing human nature it's something that you can when you when you know this and you think back about everything that you've just read um adds light and um adds just so much to the story. It, it, it just had, um, it nailed the ending. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, immediately go into the second two books, um, but I could not have been more satisfied um, with, with this author. Um, it's compared to Joyce, Thomas Mann, Robert Musil, uh, I, I really got a sense of um, the, the, the care that the author uh, gives to the reader uh, really reminded me of Thomas Mann. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll end there. Um, it, was a it was a great reading experience. I had a great day uh, just um, drinking tea all morning. I had chocolate chip cookies for lunch, uh, tea all afternoon just reading and hanging out with my cats under my tin roof, listening to the uh, rain. Um, it's just great. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like 